welcome to my daily tips. Uh, well, they're not quite daily, but they could be daily because I skate almost daily and I'm always coming up with tips for myself to practice. But here's some things I was trying to remind myself of this morning to get the best sow cow. Um, well, I personally go into a sow cow on a three turn entrance. Maybe it's a little unusual, maybe it's a little old fashioned. It's perfectly legitimate, of course, to do this same mohawk as you would set up an axle and then do a three turn instead of a takeoff. I've been recently gotten used to coming into the sow cow from a chalk tie entry like a spin. That's my preference, but I'm not saying that's the only or the, even the best way for you to do it. But there are some fundamentals I think it is important for you to do. And I think after my years of study and experimentation that this free leg action is actually gives me the most satisfying uh, single, double, or what I can remember of triple sow cow. So the free leg starts from behind. As soon as you step on your outside edge, your free leg is behind and it stays behind as you make the three turn okay so the free leg stays behind but at right after the three turn what it right after you completed that three turn the free leg makes a rond de jambe it makes your foot makes a uh, half a circle I think this is the best for sow cow. Just so to do it your way, watch my right foot, what it's gonna do. Three turn, it's behind. Now it makes its way around. Yes, that's what I think. And to be more specific, when we go from the outside edge to the inside edge, we already move our free leg. At least I do in my method. And so I just continue that motion. So. When I'm on the forward outside edge, my free leg is always in the circle according to the Gary Beacom technique. Free leg is inside the cur curve, right? It's like a pivot position. I do the three turn, now the free leg is still inside the curve. So it doesn't actually technically stay right behind. It's a little bit crossed inside the circle here. And then it's inside the circle here's my position right after the three turn free leg slightly inside the circle so when it goes from the outside to the inside of the circle it has to move uh, from this position my let's take off position boom to my flip takeoff position uh, this is going to be a sow cow not a flip but that's the idea so watch the free leg it's going to move as i do the three turn and it's just going to keep on moving right so here's this free leg you're going to watch, this left leg that's behind, moving around and into the jump. I was quite proud of that sow cow actually. I had, uh, I felt a nice, since I'm teaching it, I'm definitely thinking about it and trying to show it off, the technique. So, and I think I got it pretty easy. You notice how uh, another thing about my sow cow is that my arms move like a helicopter. And that, that I use that turning momentum to uh, help me get the rotation on the sow cow. So if you notice it, I'll do this sow cow again and watch my arms this time. I'm gonna to try to maintain good posture. I'm gonna to try to maintain the widest possible position because it's the difference between this wide position and the tight rotating position it's the difference between wide and tight that speeds up your rotation so i do start as wide as possible okay now watch these helicopter arms they're going to make a turn turning they are and they keep on turning through that whole jump right they have that turning motion. I take advantage, that's one of the ways 
you can get more better, easier rotation is by rotational momentum leading into the jumps and also by deep enough edges. So you'll notice that from hip to blade, all of these edges, I try to make that lean congruent the same, same lean. Yeah, I'm losing a little speed when I step because I try not to push here, but basically there's a certain lean on that edge. There's a certain lean on that edge. And then there's a certain lean on, on that edge. And that's all the time. That's my consistent method that I try from. The lean doesn't go all varied. It's not the only way to do it, but to be consistent, it's the simplest kind of way to do it in my opinion. Develop your own method if you think you've got one that's better, but I'm gonna show you this whole deal right now to the best of my ability. And the landing edge also is the same lean because when you take off a leaning edge, you get automatic rotation. And when you land on a leaning edge, you get automatic cessation of that rotation. That rotation stops. You, 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 that's a way to stop your rotation is to land on a leaning edge, the same. So there's four congruent leaning edges I would have. And I also, speaking of which, I would also have more or less the same. Uh, I don't do a lot of up and down, a little bit of up and down to get over the three turn, a little bounce to some things, but mostly staying at the same level. So watch for that this time. I'm going to try to stay at the same level, this low athletic level until I actually jump. So I'm going to try to stay right down here, right down there. and then landing right down to that level. So that's my default textbook technique that I believe in for South Cal. And there's more, but that's maybe enough for now, right? I'll take a bit of a rest. <laughs>